we have one aspect which I think will really, and that's a new technology on the horizon, and will help fuel the whole planning, and that is will be big data and AI. You can't move that piece of, uh, say, handicraft or whatever it is from Uganda to the middle of London in five minutes. That's clearly not going to happen. But that then leads into, for e-commerce to function, there has to be a very well-functioning warehousing uh, strategy set up. Is the logistics industry geared to handle that challenge yet, or does it take more? The question is the price tag. I mean, it comes with a price, um, and I think not everybody can afford that price. Um, you know, today you have very different markets with different level of maturities and growth. Um, I'm German, so I can talk a bit about Germany. I think Germany was always behind the curve. I mean, countries like the UK, the US have been far ahead, um, especially in the grocery side. But due to COVID, people had no choice. And if you think mm. in Europe, a lot of older population, you know, my, my mom, she would never use the credit card. I still have to place her Amazon orders because she's afraid something might happen. But people had to learn it. And they did it once, they did it twice, and they get addicted and they're like, hang on, why should I stand up and drive 15 kilometers to the next town and go into a supermarket and get my stuff if somebody just delivers that? And especially if you're 70, 75, 80, it's actually quite an effort to do. So there's a lot of people who I think move the e-commerce and will hardly ever come back. Um, but again, then it's always a question of where is the, 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 the goods coming from? Where is it going to? If it's moving around half the world, there will be quite a price tag. You can have it reliably, but then you pay. Um, if you want to have it cost efficiently, well, then it can be three months, six months, God knows, uh, if it ever arrives. Um, and then we have one aspect which I think will really, and that's a new technology on the horizon, and, and will help fuel the whole planning, and that is, will be big data and AI. Because if you can predict the demands, if you know people are going to buy this, and that's what existing you know, e-commerce players today are very well using and leveraging in their core markets, uh, we can hopefully much better organize the supply chains and ensure that those goods which are needed, 80, 90% of the general goods which are consumed day in, day out, will be available in the right places um, and, and be delivered. And, and just to add what Peter said, I fully agree, the models having certain hubs in front of the major cities and then having single operators operating certain areas is definitely one, I think, on the horizon. There's other solutions like the parcel boxes you, you have. I mean, we started that 15 years ago in Germany, uh, where you have lockers thanks to supermarket petrol stations and you can, you know, go and collect your parcel whenever it's convenient or you can actually submit your parcel if you want to ship something. Um, we are testing in, in, in the in the backs of your car that you could uh, store stuff there. You have the drone deliveries. So there's a lot of different technology stuff. I think it's still hard to see which in the end will really prevail because there's always pros and cons of any solution tested. Um, but data for sure will be a, a key enabler in organizing and orchestrating the whole flow of, of goods.